All right, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at a Jerry Garcia acoustic solo from the song Dire Wolf, similar to what was played on the Reckoning album. All right, a few quick notes about Dire Wolf before we get started. It originally appeared on the Working Man's Dead album, which was recorded in February of 1970 and released in June of that year. The song, however, was written in the spring of 1969 became a live staple of the band before it was recorded. The song goes back to the band's folk and bluegrass roots, and it was originally recorded in the key of E for the album, but was later changed to the key of G, which is what key it was played on on the Reckoning album, and which key we'll be looking at in uh, this lesson. Uh, the other interesting thing I recently read about the song was uh, it was written in the spring of 69, but when the band started recording it and playing it live is when the uh, Zodiac Killer was first surfaced around San Francisco. And Garcia noted that um, he had a connection between the lyrics and what was going on at that time with the Zodiac Killer. All right, let's take a look at the solo. All right, so the solo starts off, actually, the pickup note is over a C chord. So we have the C going. And it actually starts on that G chord, but the pickup note starts on a C, fifth fret of the third string. And then we play the fourth fret of the third string, B, which is the third of the G chord that we're now on. So we have... So we have two bars of G, and we're starting off with B, the third of G, then we're playing flat third to a major third, B flat to B, or three to four on the third string, followed by the third fret of the first string, a G. So we have that sixth interval. Then we repeat the B twice and slide it up to the seventh fret of the third string. And then we're doing another sixth interval. So it's the seventh fret to the third and first string respectively. So we have D to B or the fifth and third of a G chord. So we have Then we're going to play 6, 7 on the third string And then we have 6th on the 6th fret of the first string So now we're playing over a B flat chord And we're going to play B flat the root and D the major third of B flat. And that's also a sixth interval. So we have. All right, very cool lick. So we start with the eighth fret of the first string and we're going to pull off eight, seven, six and slide down to the 5th fret. So we have... Then 6, 7, 8 on the 1st string. We're going to slide from the 4th fret of the 1st string to the 5th fret of the 1st string. So now we're over an F chord and we're playing the... Uh, so the F actually starts when we're playing the 7th fret, the B, which is a passing tone up to C, which is the 5th of C, I mean the 5th of F. So we have... And then 4th fret to 5th fret on the 1st string, so we're playing the flat 3rd to the major 3rd, A flat to A. And then we're going to play an F triad. So we have that A, 6th fret of the 2nd string, F, our root, then 5th fret of the 3rd string, C, our 5th. 
So we have... And then we're going to slide down to the 4th fret and the 3rd fret. So this is what we have over the B flat to F chords, starting with the two pickup notes, which are the 6th and 7th frets of the 3rd string. Right now, everything we have so far. Then we're going to play, we're still over an F chord. We're going to play the third frets of the third and first string. Then we're going to play first to second fret of the third string. Again, that's the flat three to major third. And first fret of the first string. So we're playing the third to the root. And again, a sixth interval starting on the flat third. Notice you've seen that a few times already so far. <clears throat> All right, so we have, I'm gonna play it like this since we're coming off of just play F that's the third fret of the fourth string and then we're gonna play third to fifth fret on the fifth string second to third fret on the fourth string and then open first second fret on the third string playing the first fret of the second string, second fret of the third string twice, then third fret of the second string, second fret hammer on, or pull off, I'm sorry, pull off to the first fret, so, and then open. And that was all over an F chord, so here's what we have over the F. And then we go to a G chord. All right, so I'm going to slowly play from the F. So we have... Everything we have so far. All right, everything we have so far. So now over the G chord, we're going to slide from the second fret of the third string up to the fourth fret and play the third fret of the first string. So again, we have that sixth interval, the third of G to the root, but we're sliding in from the second fret. Then we're going to play an open D string quickly on the fourth string. And then we're going to slide from the fourth fret back down to the second fret. So now we're on the F chord and we're targeting that third of F, the A. So over the G we have, now over the F we're playing that second fret, the A, third fret of the fourth string, and then an open uh, third string G. So we have, so it's second fret of the third string, third fret of the fourth string, open third string, then we're gonna go open, then hammer on second to third string and back to third fret of the fourth string. So, so far we have, then we're going to play the second fret of the third string twice and then slide up to that fourth fret. 
So now we're over a G chord and we're playing B. And then we have the fifth fret of the fourth string, which is a G, the root. And then we're going to quickly slide from the third fret to the fourth fret of the third string and then play G, first fret of the first string. So, so far over that G, F back to G, we have Then we're going to play the third fret of the second string. So you can see we're just kind of holding a G chord. So basically we had G down to F. We're kind of holding an F chord. Now we're holding a G chord. And then we're going to play the fourth fret on the second string into the fifth fret. So now we're over a C chord and we're playing from the E flat, which is the flat three of C, to an E, the third of C. So we were kind of anticipating that chord chain. And then we're going to pull off from the fifth fret of the first string to the third fret. So we have. Uh, then we're going to slide quickly from the 4th fret of the 2nd string to the 3rd fret and pull off to the 1st fret of the 2nd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, then 2nd fret. So taking it from the G, F, G. Alright, let's see what we have. We have... So over the F chord, we're playing an F triad. So that's the C, first fret of the second string, A, second fret of the third string, and then third fret of the fourth string. And we're going to hammer on from the first to the second fret. Again, that flat third to the major third. And then we're going to slide from the third fret of the fourth string to the second fret and then play an open D string or fourth string and we're now over the G chord and that was a D the fifth of G then we're gonna play B flat which is the flat third of G to the third of G and then an open G string so we have over the F to G chord So taking it from that F, C, from the F to the two bars of C to the G is where the singing begins again. We have... Alright, so the whole solo slowly. So we have one, two, three... enjoyed this solo. If you uh, liked the video or learned something, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment. If you'd like to uh, learn the chords to the entire song of Dire Wolf, check out my blog at weepingwillow.com forward slash blog. Alright, see you next time.